Hello, so in today's video, we're going to look at proof by counter example. So in the previous uh, three videos, we've done proof by exhaustion, proof by contradiction, uh, proof by deduction. So today we're going to do proof by counter example. So this is the last type of proof that we need in the A-level math syllabus. So proof by counter example is when we want to basically disprove a statement by coming up with an example to show that that initial statement cannot be true. So um, again, it's probably best to go for an example so you can see what this actually really means. So this example here, so prove that n squared plus 3n plus 1 is not a prime number for all natural numbers n. So if we just uh, remember the natural numbers are just these numbers here, so the counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so on. So basically, we, we, we want to prove that regardless of what value, what integer positive value n is, this number here will not be prime for all of those values. So to prove this, well, to prove that this uh, this value cannot be prime for all n values, we just want to pick an n value and see if that gives us a prime number. And if we uh, if we can pick an n value which does not give us a prime number, then we've we proved this statement here that this cannot possibly be a prime number for all values of n. Um, so let's go ahead and prove the statement then. So uh, or, or we can say it in a different way. We can say disprove. So disprove that n squared plus 3n plus 1 is prime for all n in the natural numbers. OK, so um, we're just going to come up with some examples of n. So different substitute different n values into the uh, the expression and see what we get. So, I mean, if we pick, uh, if we just pick n equals 1, so we get uh, 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 plus 1. This is 1 plus 3 plus 5. Sorry, 1 plus 3 plus 1. And that's 5. So that is a prime number. So this is prime. I just uh, call capital P prime uh, just, to, just to denote that this is a prime number. So this is prime. OK, so um, we've not disproved the statement yet because this is actually prime. Uh, let's try n equals 2. Uh, so we get 2 cubed plus three times two plus one. This is eight plus six plus one. Um, okay, so sorry, I've made a mistake here. This should be squared, my bad. This is uh, one squared and this is squared here. Sorry for that. Uh, so two squared is four, sorry, my bad. Uh, so that's four. Four plus six is 10 plus one is 11. Again, 11 is a prime number, so I'll just put a capital P there. Okay, let's try the next one. Uh, so we want to uh, we want to come up with an example of n such that we get this to be a non prime number, and then once we've done that, we've disproved the statement. Uh, so three squared plus three times three plus one. So that would give us nine plus nine plus one. This is nineteen. Again, it's prime. Uh, let's keep on going. So n equals four. We get four squared plus three times four plus one. So we get 16 plus 12 plus 1. This is 29. So again, it's going to be prime. Uh, let's try the next one. So n equals 6. I mean, sorry, n equals 5. So we get uh, 5 squared plus 3 times 5 plus 1. Uh, so this is just going to be 25 plus 15 plus 1. So again, we get a prime number. We get 41. Um, and let's try the next one, so n equals 6. So we get 6 squared plus 3 times 6 plus 1. So this will just be 36 plus 18 plus 1. Uh, so this should be 55. And 55 is not prime. I'll just call this NP for not prime. OK, tick. We get a uh, an example of N which gives rise to an n squared plus 3n plus 1 value, which is not prime. So therefore, we've disproved this statement that n squared plus 3n plus 1 is prime for every natural number because we found a natural number n equals 6, such that this number is not prime. Uh, so let's just uh, make a concluding statement down here. Um, let's move my writing up. Um, sorry, let me try again. So, yep, so now we've come up with a, uh, an example, an n value, which gives us a non prime number. So, yeah, so 55 is not prime. 
So therefore, uh, there exists n values in the natural numbers such that n squared plus 3n plus 1 is not prime. So therefore, we've disproved the statement. So proof by counterexample is just literally when we want to come up with an example. So in this case, an example of an n value, which will give us um, which will give us a result which kind of contradicts our proof or contradicts what we're trying to say here. So we wanted to disprove that this is a prime number for every natural number. If we can pick a natural number which makes this number not prime, then we've disproved the statement or we prove that this value is not prime for every natural number. Um, so yeah, that's just an example of proof by counter example. Um, and it doesn't really get much more trickier than that. That's kind of uh, as far as these questions go. Um, so yeah, that's the end of today's video.